I'm Dave Cathy, the Food Dude, and it's time again for some mood mixology, springtime edition. And for this latest contest of uh, libations, uh, we uh, use tequila from uh, Premium Brands Liquor. Scott Glidewell, Kyle Fleischfresser, Jason Ewald, we're all at Ludovine to make an original tequila cocktail. Here's how it turned out. Today we're having a mixology competition as opposed to a bartender competition. Bartender sling drinks, mixologists kind of create drinks. And we're using some neat products today, a bark keep organic bitters that were created by other mixologists. Uh, the other product we're using today is Dos Manos uh, Blanco Tequila. Uh, we picked a Blanco because it's a lot of times Blanco is the best tequila to mix from. A lot of your margaritas come from a silver tequila Blanco. Um, Dos Manos is 100% pure agave tequila. It's double distilled. That's what makes a true tequila. 100% agave, double distilled, minimum. I am Jason Ewald, uh, representing Republic Gastro Pub, and for my Cinco de Mayo cocktail, I uh, came up with the Generalissimo Ignacio Zaragoza Seguin, or General Iggy for short. We'll start with two parts Blanco tequila and one part each of first Edelkirsch liqueur. Edelkirsch is noble cherry. It's a German black cherry liqueur. Next, one part lemon juice, one part black cherry juice. Now this is from a jar, it's called Just Black Cherry and it's an unsweetened cherry juice. Next thing we want to do is add just a little bit of a heat tincture. I've made this by uh, macerating some jalapenos in tequila and just, just a little bit. This is an eighth of a teaspoon measurement and I'm using about half of that. And then let's throw in some jalapenos for flavor. A little bit of ice. Shake it about 40 times. Now since this drink has jalapeno in it, as well as some ice crystals that would continue to dilute it, I'm gonna fine strain it. The rim of this glass has a mixture of sugar, unrefined sugar, five parts, one part kosher salt, and uh, the zest of two pomelos, which I kind of let sit together for a couple of days and then chopped it up. A little rose for garnish. General Iggy. Hi, I'm uh, Kyle Fleischfresser from uh, the bar at Ludovine. Uh, I'm here today, I'm gonna make the uh, Wani apple seed. Um, it goes a little something like this. I've got a half ounce of an agave nectar that I simmered some chilies and blood orange peel in. Half ounce of lime juice. Two ounces of the Dos Manos tequila. A dash of the uh, Barkeep baked apple bitters. Right, ice it up. Shake it. And garnish with a blood orange twist. And there we have the Wani apple seed. Hi, my name is Scott Glidewell and I'm the uh, bartender at Paseo Grill. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, one of my drinks. It's uh, smoked apple horchata. So first you're going to take two ounces of your homemade horchata mix and then one ounce of tequila, half an ounce of the Applejack brandy that has been fortified with a little corn whiskey and the honey and green cardamom pod, and then half an ounce of agave nectar. And there you go, smoked apple ochata. Uh, tonight's mixology event uh, has been held down here at Ludovine. Uh, we're down on 7th and Hudson, down in Midtown, Oklahoma City. We're a small farm to table restaurant. Um, we do, you know, uh, as much as we can to use uh, products, produce, meats, everything grown uh, locally here in the state of Oklahoma. For the uh, dish today, we have little mini croque tartines, so um, some toasted bread and some slow roasted Berkshire ham with a little must Dijon bechamel, uh, topped with a fried quail egg, uh, heirloom tomato wafer, and some garlic chives. Hey, I'm Luke Fry, head chef, Republic Gastro Pub, and today I've brought some chocolate-dipped jalapenos with a brandy cherry mousse with a touch of cayenne and a little bit of black sea salt on top. I wanted to kind of mirror what this drink was doing with a little bit of salty, a little bit of sweet, and a little bit of heat. Now what I've done is I've taken this chocolate that's a little bit of a bitter chocolate, 
dipped it in the jalapenos in it and let that harden. Made a real simple mousse with a little bit of cherry, a little bit of brandy, dark cherry that is, and cream cheese and, and cream and whipped it all together to make it stand up on its own. Piped it on top and the little bit of sea salt just adds a little bit of saltiness to make it round out really nice. Hey everybody, I'm Jason Hill, the chef of Paseo Grill. Um, coming up with a few accoutrements for Scott's smoked apple archata drink this afternoon. I've got homemade sopapillas, dusted with a little cinnamon sugar and topped with apple agave nectar. I've also got some nice fresh salsas to cool you off in the summertime afternoons. We've got our uh, house salsa from Paseo Grill, a jicama and mango salsa, and a black bean salsa, which we also serve in the restaurant. 